capacitors. Now, calculating some various features of capacitance. Capacitance value, charge on the plates, potential difference between the plates, and using dielectric. Those will all be in this uh, video. But starting out with a simple calculation, uh, we have an air gap that's specified here, 2 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. And we have 80 by 60 centimeters for the plates. Uh, dealing with rectangles here instead of squares. No no challenge to that really. Our formula for capacitance, it's geometry based. It's epsilon naught area over D. The capacitance value does not depend on the charge on the plates or the uh, uh, potential difference between the plates. It's geometry. Epsilon naught area divided by distance between the plates. So we have those uh, directly given here. So let's go ahead and substitute those. 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. You can look up that constant. Standard metric units. We have 0 0.8 meters. Can't use centimeters. And 0 0.6 meters. And then the distance was uh, properly given in meters. 2 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. So if you put that into your calculator and do the division, you'll get a capacitance value of 2.124 times 10 to the minus 7 farads, 2.124 times 10 to the minus 7 farads, or you could write this as 0 0.212 microfarads. If I would shift the decimal back here, 0 0.2124 times 10 to the minus 6, and the 10 to the minus 6 is micro. Okay, let's hook up this capacitor to a 9 volt battery. I hook up the capacitor to a 9 volt battery. How much charge will be on each play of the capacitor? Well, there's a relationship between charge, the capacitance value, and the potential difference between uh, the two plates. So this capacitor, one plate's hooked up to plus 9, the other to 0 terminal of the battery, 0 volt terminal. So we can calculate the Q directly. We know the value of the capacitance. So we can go ahead and uh, put that in. I'm going to go back to the powers of 10. 2.124 times 10 to the minus 7 farads. And we have a 9 volt battery. So this is standard metric units. Multiply those two together. And we've got 1.91 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. One plate's carrying this as a positive charge. The other plate carrying this as a negative charge. Okay, well, we pull the capacitor away from the battery real fast here. And um, we will now want to know what's the potential difference of the plates. Okay, so we moved it off real fast. Tell me something about the value of the capacitance when it's not hooked up to the battery no change in the area and the distance between the plates. Tell me something about the charge. It's the same. So we've got Q equals CV. The Q and the C are the same as before. You know, we, we have charge on the plates of the capacitor. We suddenly break the connection. The charge cannot leak in the, the next uh, short period of time can't leak away off of the capacitor. So we've got the same potential difference. The V is 9 volts. Potential difference between the plates of the capacitor. What if we put paper, an insulator, in between the, uh, the plates of the capacitor? We fill the gap and we don't uh, change the distance between the two plates. So Q is constant. The capacitance value, however, changes. We've got this kappa, the dielectric constant, multiplied then on epsilon naught A over D. For paper, the kappa value is 3.7. You can look that up. It's sort of some kind of standard paper. So the capacitance value is going to be 3.7 times what the old capacitance value was. We've already worked out epsilon naught A over D, so I'm not going to repeat that. So we get 3.7 times uh, 2.124 times 10 to the minus 7 uh, farads. Sorry, uh, cool, 
where am I here? Yeah, it is farads. 3.7 times this. So the capacitance number is now 7.859 times 10 to the minus 7 farads. It's larger than before by this factor of 3.7. How's that going to affect the potential difference? V is Q over C. Q equals CV is our base uh, kind of equation. So if I rearrange it, V equals Q over C. And we've got the same Q that we had before up above. That was 1.91 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. The capacitance value is 2.124. Oh, the bigger one with the dielectric, 7.859 times 10 to the minus 7 farads. And we divide those two, and we get 2.43 volts. I did this the hard way. What's an easier way to come up with this answer? If we know that the potential difference between the plates is the charge divided by the capacitance, and we know the charge was constant. Well, we had 9 volts without the dielectric. When we put the dielectric in, the value of the capacitance goes up by a factor of 3.7. So if the value of the capacitance goes up by a factor of 3.7, what has to happen to the voltage? It has to go down by a factor of 3.7. So another way to do this would just be V equals 9 volts divided by 3.7 and you get 2.43 volts. That this shows a little bit more the effect of the dielectric makes the value of the capacitance larger. And then going back to the voltage is equal to Q over C. So there's a little example with capacitors. There's a geometry calculation if there's no dielectric, epsilon naught area over D. There's a relationship between the charge and the voltage. C is really, this capacitance value is kind of a proportionality constant. If we double the voltage, we'll double the Q. Um, but C tells us how to exactly calculate for a given voltage what the Q will be. If we pull the, the capacitor away from the battery, same geometry, so we have the same value of C. We pulled off of the battery, the charge can't go any place, so it's uh, the same charge on the plates of the capacitor. There's an insulator between the two plates. And if we pick it up with insulated gloves or something, don't do this with your hand. And a uh, little safety precaution, capacitors can be dangerous. Uh, you should never pull a capacitor out of a live circuit it's something that has a connection to some potential difference. Uh, just a little hypothetical calculation here. Um, but we ended up with the same voltage because uh, Q and C stayed the same. If we put dielectric in, it turns out that the potential difference between the plates goes down. We're no longer, we're not connected to the battery here. Uh, we've got the capacitor sitting out in, uh, in space someplace. If the dielectric constant is bigger than one, it is for everything, air is one, um, then the value of the capacitance goes up the value of the voltage between the two plates goes down. Turns out it goes down. And you ought to study uh, dielectric. It's very interesting how the dielectric has an internal electric field that uh, opposes the electric field between the two plates of the capacitor, reduces that electric field, and thus reduces the potential. But ask your instructor about that, or read it out on your own. You can do that. Keep practicing.